Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm C Tech Dude. Hope you're doing well today. The other day I was browsing through Amazon as I normally do, you know, looking for the coolest technology to review for you guys, and I came across this phone. This is the WV Leisure Master G23 Plus 5G Ultra Cell Phone. Factory unlocks 120 gigs. <laughs> Lots of specs, basically. Um, it's basically a Galaxy S23 knockoff, but you know what? I was like, I'm gonna buy it and see how bad this can be. Because uh, it has some pretty wild claims in here. It's got 5G technology. Uh, it's got 120 gigs of storage. It's got a Qualcomm 888, which is a pretty decent processor. Um, at, at least it claims it has that. And support for 4G and 5G networks with dual SIM card and a micro SD card slot as well in there. It's got a pretty high resolution screen. It says four gigs of RAM and 20 gigs of byte and 120 gigs of uh, ROM inside. It has face recognition and a fake fingerprint unlock feature. Interesting. And just remember all these specs because we're going to be looking at the actual phone here in a little bit. Um, but then down here it's got six gigs of RAM it says. Uh, so which one is it? Four or six? We'll find out. Uh, it's got a 7.3 inch HD plus full screen. So it has a lot of specs and it also comes with um, an S Pen, it says. So there's the S Pen in the picture. Pretty cool, you know. It looks like the S Pen that you get from the Galaxy S23 or the Galaxy Note uh, that they don't make anymore. So let's take a look and see what we actually get from this phone. And let I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Here we go. Okay, so we'll be honest with you guys. I already have an unboxed this to look at it and run a few benchmarks on it. But um, here's what the package comes like. It's in a generic white box. It just says quad camera rather than like, you know, anything else, any, any kind of brand name on it, um, comes with some bubble wrap. So there's the phone itself. Honestly, it's not a bad looking phone. Um, it is plastic and, you know, pretty, pretty hefty, but it's not a bad looking phone at all. In my opinion. Um, it does have this weird little thing over the power button. I guess that's to keep it from turning on and chipping maybe. Um, but you can just take that off and put it to the side. So yeah, that's what the phone looks like. We'll get more to that later. See what else it comes with, so... Hmm, that doesn't look like an S Pen. Looks like a little stylus you get for like a dollar at the dollar store, doesn't it? That's the first thing that it lied about, so that's good. It does come with a charger and USB-C cable and some USB earphones and a case. So I'm not going to open any of that because I'm actually going to return this phone as soon as I get done re uh, reviewing it because it's a piece of garbage, but um, more on that in a second. So let's get the phone powered on and see what you think. So. Bear in mind, I did already set this up, but when you boot the phone up for the first time, it doesn't take you any kind of setup screen. It just goes welcome and then takes you right into Android. That's without me setting it up the first time, it just, that's what it does. It just <laughs> goes into the Android screen without any kind of setup or, you know, normally you go to the setup screen and log in and with your Gmail account and set up the fingerprint sensor and all that fun stuff. This one just goes straight into Android. Notice there's no kind of like branding on this phone. It just says welcome. Doesn't have a manufacturer logo or anything like that, which is interesting as well. And here it is, guys. Here's the Galaxy S23 knockoff, the Leisure Master whatever this phone's called the, Le the leisure master I looked at on the amazon store they sell furniture so i don't really know what i expected uh, but it wasn't i didn't expect it to be this bad so you can only tell the screen is not the resolution it claims it's not a full hd plus screen it's it looks like it's probably 720p to me um it's just not a very nice screen in my opinion and this phone is slow i mean you can see scrolling is just miserably miserably slow Opening settings should not take that long. But look at let's go down to the about system and then about phone. Actually, sorry. About phone. So it says C21 for the device name. Okay. And let's see. Four gigs of RAM, so it's not six gigs, 128 gigs of gigabytes of ROM. I can't say that. So yes, yeah, that's, that's accurate. A Qualcomm 8 Gen 1. You wish phone. <laughs> It did say Snapdragon 888 on the uh, Amazon listing. 
not a Qualcomm Agent 1, but this thing, there's no way. If this has a Qualcomm Agent 1, then I'm John Stamos. This is just, it's it's not. <laughs> uh, Android 11 for the version. And yeah, so as you can see, it's the lies are building up. Um, so I did want to test, I did want to open the camera real fast and test that out. Uh, this camera is hot garbage as well. It says it has three cameras on it, so I think that's a lie as well. Or at least it has three. Uh, no, just one camera, and then these are like not cameras. They're just fake. Cool. Yeah, so that's the camera, and then nothing else. These are just all there for decoration. So one camera. Let's see what the front-facing camera looks like. Hello. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Okay, so not great. Now I did also run some uh, Antutu benchmarks to let you see the scores on that. Now this also reports that it's this uh, Qualcomm 8 Gen 1, so they already they've are they've obviously hacked the firmware of this phone to report lies basically because it's definitely not. I mean, look at this. This thing's slow. <laughs> but you can look at the test. So 43503 is what it got for the score. That may not mean anything to you. It didn't really mean anything to me. But if you go to like the ranking, this thing's at the bottom of the of the whole phone list. Defeated one percent of users. Yeah, that's great. Here's the hardware details. Let's see what it says in here. If it'll open up, come on. So it says it's the Alps C21. If you Google that though, I couldn't find anything about it. Qualcomm 8 Gen 1. Nope. Android 12 here, even though it said Android 11 in the system settings. <laughs> so resolution 2400 by 3088. I don't believe that either. It says it has 16 gigs of RAM. That's a lie. One, whoa. One terabyte of internal storage. That's that's also a lie. External storage. 100. It's got 120 gigabytes. Oh, speaking of that, so SD card slot, if you open it up, I, do, I did put a SIM card in there. Speaking of which, the SIM card, SD card slot's impossible to open. And if you like try to bend it any way to get it open, it feels like you're going to break the phone. Okay, come on now. Well, as I said, this thing is not easy to open. Let's see if the ejector tool that they gave me in the box works. That was one that I already had. I mean, I assume it's the same. Okay, so it, that works a little better. But it does come with the 128 gigs of storage in there. And I put my Mint Mobile SIM card in there. And guess what? It does not get 5G. It just gets 4G. So, yeah. But it does have two SIM card slots. It does have an SD card slot in the tray. I thought maybe that's how they're saying it has 128 gigs of storage because it just has a SIM card or an SD card slot in, SD card in the slot. But, um, yeah. I think it also has 120 gigs of storage unless that's also being faked. Because if you go down here to storage... says five gigs of 128 gigs total so an sd card slot 128 gigs so it may actually have 120 gigs of storage on there that wouldn't that's not a big deal but um yeah so again this thing just <laughs> doesn't add up and it's definitely not worth the price it's probably the worst phone i've ever used and i'm not even gonna log into the google play store because i don't know if it's gonna send some kind of chinese backdoor stuff to my google account so yeah, this phone, I was going to buy it and do a review for you and see if it's worth it, but this phone doesn't even deserve a full review, you know? It's just not a good phone. I will go and test the speakers for you, though, real fast. Do, 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 do. Even the Wi-Fi, so I have to connect to my 2.4 gigahertz network because the 5 gigs... The 5 gigahertz network is just is slow as well. Like this Wi-Fi chip in here is bad. <laughs> so everything about this phone is just uh, bad. I will be leaving a one-star review on Amazon. T 
Test the speakers real fast, and then I'm probably gonna be done with this phone because I'm sick of looking at it. Oh yeah, those speakers are terrible. Wow, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad, but it's that bad. Yeah, that's terrible. Okay, so that is uh, the Leisure Master or Alps C21, whatever you want to call this thing. I'm sure it's going to be sold on Amazon under different names, but uh, yeah, don't buy this phone. It's, oh, <laughs> one more thing before I go. The fingerprint unlock. <clears throat> so if you go in here to settings and then go to security, fingerprint. First, you have to set up a pattern, so one or a pen. So, don't steal my phone, guys. No, actually, steal this phone. I don't care. Then add fingerprint. So, where do you want me to lift and touch at? It doesn't say. Oh, down here. So, if you touch down here, it does act like it's setting up a fingerprint. So, yeah, if you put your finger here, it acts like it's registering your finger. That's fine. So. Added my phone, come to the lock screen. So fingerprint sensor down here, click it, let you in the phone. Use my left index finger. Oh, look at that. Look, use my middle finger. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, this thing just, you know, I even used my nose at one point and it unlocked the phone, which I probably can't show you right now, but uh, yeah. So this is just looking for somebody, something to touch down there and it unlocks the phone. So that's, I think that's about it on this on this turd of a phone. Uh, I hate it, don't buy this phone. It's a scam. Uh, I'm glad I bought it so I could show you guys. Actually, I mean, if they actually put the specs that they promised in here, like a Snapdragon 888, it's an older processor, so just throw it in here. I mean, that would increase the cost of the phone, but it's really not a bad looking phone. Put a higher resolution screen, better processor, and you'd have a winner. But apparently they don't wanna do that, they just wanna scam you and hope you don't notice that this phone is a piece of junk so anyways guys uh hope you enjoyed this video it was just you know i was i'm mad about the phone i wanted to vent about it and <laughs> let, tell you guys not to buy it hope you enjoyed it uh, have a great day i'll talk to you next time see you later bye bye